Hello everyone and welcome back to another painting tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how to paint Spirit Torment. Here is the list of colors which I'm going to be using on this miniature. The miniature is fully assembled and primed with Abaddon Black. The first color I'm going to use is Celestra Grey. I use a small base brush and start base painting all the ethereal waves. And where it starts to meet with the physical robe, I start to make thin lines upwards where I want the transition to start. Now I'm going to use Counter Blue and I start base painting the robe itself and where I previously painted the waves with Celestial Grey at the meeting point I start to make thin lines over the Celestial Grey to achieve the first progress for the transition. Once it is done, I'm going to use Nighthorn Gloom and I start applying it onto the Celestial Grey painted area and where the transition is, I go just a little bit over to have the two colors blend together. I gave plenty of time to dry the technical and once it's dry I use Otho and Grey and with a small dry brush I start dry brushing the ethereal waves. Then I switch to a small layer brush and start base painting the tip of each wave to have a nice strong finish. Now I'm going to use Abaddon Black and with a small dry brush I start dry brushing the top of the robe where the metal plates are to have a darker finish. I am going to apply now a mix of Druki Violet and Lamian Medium, 1 to 3 part ratio, and I start applying it onto the whole surface of the robe, including the waves. I 
I apply a second wash but this time I start applying it around halfway where the transition is and applying it all the way up on the rope. Then I add a final layer more close to the transition part to have a smooth blend of the base colors. Once it is dry, I am going to use Thousand Suns Blue and start layering and highlighting all the raised features of the robe, including close to the area where the transition is. Now I'm going to use Fenrisian Grey and I do an edge highlight on the rope and also around the transition to achieve a smooth And finishing the ethereal robe and wave with Ulthor and Grey, I apply it once again just onto the tips of each wave to have a really nice highlight onto it. I can focus on the skin so for this I'm going to use Irak skin as a base color and with a small base brush I start base painting the hands Now I'm going to make a mix of Dragon of Nightshade and Lamia Medium, 1 to 3 part ratio, and I start applying it onto the hands. Once the wash is completely dry, I am going back to use Iraq skin and I start layering the areas just to have the wash only in the recesses and in this way I'm going to have a smooth blend on the arms too. Now I'm going to use Deepkin Flash and start highlighting mainly the hands and the top raised surface of the arms. I 
and finishing the skin by using palette rich flash I give a fine highlight onto the hands mainly especially around the knuckles and also the tip of each finger Now I'm going to focus on the metallic part, so for this I use Lead Belcher as a base color and I start base painting all the chains, the locks, the key chain, also the back and the helmet, I give an olive base coat onto the miniature. Now I'm going to use Warp Lock Bronze and I start base painting the areas which I want them to look like copper. For example, the top part of the helmet, the center metal rod on the back, the locks that can be found on its back and I am being more selective on the heavy bonds. I try to select different parts on them to have them more uneven look. I am going to apply Agrex Earthshade Wash on the metallic parts. In this way it starts to look like old and also it is a good to have this wash on the recesses to get a better contrast on each detail. Once the wash is completely dry, I am going to use Balthazar Gold. I use an old medium layer brush as a dry brush and start dry brushing the areas which I base painted previously with Warp Lock Bronze. Now I'm going to apply Colia Green Shade Wash on the metallic parts. I use a medium layer brush and I am trying to make it uneven on the surface as in some parts are aged more over time. It is also good to give a recess wash especially around the copper parts and around the pins. Once it's dry, I'm going back to use Lead Belcher and I start dry brushing all the steel areas. Again, I am trying to give a different strength of the brush to make it look uneven. Now I'm going to use on the steel areas Stormhole Silver. I use a small layer brush 
and start highlighting and edge highlighting the parts. I also make thin lines, especially on the raised surface of the metal on its back. And on the copper area, I use hash hot copper and I do the same thing, highlighting and edge highlighting. On the top part of the helmet, I am trying to make the center part evenly covered with the copper color. And around the pins, I want to keep that area dark around them. The same goes for the spine rod too. Now I'm going back to use Stormhost Silver and start base painting with a small layer brush all the pins that can be found on the miniature. I am going to darken down a bit the steel area on its back and also on the keys. For this I apply some Nuon Oil Wash just to have a bit more darker look to it. Now I'm going to make a mix of Nihilic Oxide and Lamium Medium, a 1 to 3 part ratio. And I start applying it on the copper parts, mainly on the recesses. I am applying it where the steel and the copper meets. It is also good to add in some random parts as well. I applied this mix all around the helmet except the very center of it just to have that a bit still kind of a new look. Once the first layer is completely dry it is starting to make it look more visible and I apply a second wash with a little bit more focused on the center parts where I applied it previously. I am building up the oxidized parts for the metal in this way. I used two layers which I was happy with but it is not a problem to add a third layer just to get a strong finish to it. The only thing left is to base the miniature. And here is the finished spirit torment, ready to collect and control all the lost spirits. I decided to go for my spirit torment, a slightly more ice cold look, which you can also use on any other night hunt miniature if you feel like. I hope you find this video tutorial useful and helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button to reach out more hobby painters and if you want to be notified about future video tutorial click on the bell button thank you for my patreons who are helping by supporting the channel thanks for watching see you all in the next one cheers